when the desire to communicate joins the possibilities of form and function, a place is created. A place where people meet, where they move and are moved. A place where design reflects the passion of those who created it and those who use it every day. We make those places and our approach is immersive. Learning everything about your brand, your project, your world. And then using what we've learned to break new ground. Where complex challenges are met with imagination, collaboration and curiosity. The solutions we uncover create an environment of energetic voices, persuasive ideas and engaging personality. We build those environments. With architecture, design and fabrication working together with detailed planning and flawless execution to turn materials into connections. Connections between a place and an audience. Between an individual and an experience. We create those experiences. Each one unique, each one working to elevate, illuminate, and inform. It's your brand. It's our name. Ticey. Context, in more ways than one, is what sold this year's judges on Cooper Coo Family Cherry Street YMCA Center. The facility's story began as a training center during the 2015 Pan Am and Parapan Games, and its post-games conversion to a neighborhood Y has created a hub of social activity serving more than 1,000 visitors daily. But it's the design of the facility's artfully crafted exterior that drew the panel's focus. One judge noted that the simple exterior palette becomes elegant and vibrant with its subtle use of color. Echoed another, a simple, elegant, and well-executed solution that seems to perfectly fit into the neighborhood. Judges lauded the use of natural materials and a sloping site when assessing the Delbrook Community Recreation Center. From its approach to stormwater management and successful integration of mechanical systems and lighting, to its incorporation of public art, the project impressed panelists inside and out. The building carries a clear and striking aesthetic, from its bright wood-accented interior to its exterior clad in architectural concrete, curtain wall, and metal panels. Stated one judge, the project is a celebration of community that transitions from indoor spaces to outdoor fields through great visual connectivity and continuity of inviting materials. Daylighting has become a common design emphasis in large athletics and recreation venues, but few facilities showcase the concept better than Emerald Hills Leisure Center. More than one judge used the adjective dynamic to describe this indoor aquatics destination, with its triangulated exterior forms and expertly located glazing. The building houses Learn to Swim and Leisure Programming, and is home to a local high school swim program. Its trapezoidal plan maximizes the site's buildable footprint and the natatorium's volume. Window openings are strategically placed to afford deck-level views of the surrounding landscape or bounce light off the angled ceiling structure while minimizing water surface glare. Said one panelist, beautifully executed and dynamic interior spaces. Judges used words like dynamic, playful, and fun to describe UREC a facility one panelist said reflects the current state of recreation and wellness trends. Quite a statement considering the project involved renovating a 25-year-old structure. From its unique logo-inspired outdoor leisure pool to its twisting and tilting indoor track, UREC makes maximum use of its site on LSU's Baton Rouge campus to engage and challenge students and to truly live up to the project's motivating philosophy, healthy building for healthy bodies. Sited adjacent to an existing water park, the Maryland Heights Community Center impressed judges with its fluid lines, particularly along the building's expansive facade, which seems to swell upward and forward from the surrounding green space. The curvy linear aesthetic carries over to the interior and is evidenced in both window and floor cutouts, creating an open and inviting environment for entire families. Activity areas are complemented by amenities ranging from a babysitting area to a dedicated senior space. In its first year of operation, 
the building established itself as an iconic destination, not only for the Maryland Heights community, but the greater St. Louis area. Employing a criss-cross courtyard concept, designers of the Penn State University intramural building renovation and addition created two building angle formed gestures, one slanted toward the Nittany Mountains and one slanted toward campus, meeting at a main entry plaza that pulls gracefully away from the street. A central atrium informs all spatial relationships among interior activity areas. Judges marveled at the deft approach to renovation, which upon first glance doesn't appear to be a renovation at all. Commented one panelist, a beautiful glass-fronted addition makes the whole complex new. Said another, excellent concept to surround the existing building with new construction. The result is the look of a completely new facility. It's hard to look at the Shane Holmes YMCA at Rocky Ridge and not form an opinion about its undulating roof. Our judges were no exception. The building's location in northwest Calgary's foothills offered conceptual latitude uncommon among YMCAs, and designers took full advantage. One judge commented, this is a compelling use of an abstract roof form to unify the building's curves. Expansive arched windows resulting from the facility's roofline are evident virtually everywhere, but most prominently in the aquatic center and gymnasium. Other diverse programming spaces, from a leisure ice center to a 200-seat theater, feel equally at home, as does a public concourse that another panelist called a vibrant and well-thought-out space with views to all major activity areas. Simple design and easy navigation caught judges' attention when reviewing the Sally Blair Ames Sports Complex, which succeeds in housing separate sets of amenities serving Stonehill College's intercollegiate student-athletes as well as its student body at large. The signature design statement, a wedge-shaped second level wrapped entirely in curtain wall, allows for stunning transparency, with views ranging from a wooded landscape on one side to the football field and track on the other. Within, the school's athletics department has access to new locker rooms, strength and conditioning areas, and a training room, while its recreation department is afforded space for a much-needed fitness center, group exercise rooms, and dance studios. Some design choices may seem more straightforward than others, but their impact is as significant as any. Four of our seven judges referenced designers' use of color when elevating the Guelph Griffins Athletic Center to facilities of merit status. The palette is simple and consistent, with bold red providing entrance and wayfinding cues against an otherwise neutral backdrop, leaving visitors with the unmistakable sense they are in Griffin's territory. Amenities for varsity and intramural athletes and recreation enthusiasts alike are surrounded by spaces designed to foster social interaction, resulting in a facility that serves as a major sporting and cultural events destination for both the university and Guelph communities. York Recreation Center caught judges' attention with its soaring, naturally illuminated spaces from its sky-lit lobby to the deck-level glazing of its natatorium. Designers drew extra light into the gymnasium by lifting the roofline up at an angle that contrasts that of the rest of the mostly rectangular building. Noted one judge, this compact design draws its strength from its dramatic roof design and large expanses of glass. The clean design allows the facility to fit well within its park-like surroundings while asserting its curb appeal along the streetscape. Said another panelist, the subtle angles in massing and thoughtful use of color provide a modern aesthetic which has great potential to be timeless.